Hello and welcome to QX. Today I'd like to show you how to assemble our blast trainer. First I'll start with unboxing and unpacking the whole blast trainer. You will also find this accessory box in which are the pedals as well as the whole front steering for the blast trainer. The pedals And this is the whole front steering with the wheels. I'll take this out of that bag too. And for unpacking and unboxing the rest of the balance trainer, take a, a knife or scissors to cut the cable ties. When you take off the plastic wrapping in the front, take care not to lose the bushings of the screws that are already here. Here we already lost one bushing as you can see. Now I'm going to prepare the assembly of the front steering, therefore I'm going to take out the screws and the bushings and check that the bushings are assembled in a proper way in the, the frame. The flat part is on the top and the thinner part goes into the frame. Now put the front steering on and the white reinforcement bar is at the lower back end, so behind the front part of the frame. Watch out not to lose a bushing like I just did, and if you do, Make sure you put it into the frame back again. Then put the front steering on again, like I said before, with a white reinforcement bar at the back, and align the holes to the screws. I'm already going to put the screw in the lower part in so that it doesn't fall out again. And then the long screw on top, and screw it in with your hand as far as you can for the first. Then you do just the same for the other side. Take the screw out. Here is also a bushing missing. I'm going to put the bushings into the frame at first. White bar at the back lower part. Bushing in on top. Bushing in on the lower part. Pushing them into the frame. Then align the holes of the front steering. And put the short screw into the hole. like this. Then the long screw into the hole as well. Make sure to align them properly and then screw in with your hand as far as you can. Find two allen keys in the back with the assembly instructions. Take one of them and tighten the screw as far as you can with your hand. Then take the second allen key out of that bag and tighten both screws one into the other as far as the front steering is still easy to turn so you have to tighten them so that they're fixed but make sure that you don't tighten them too much because then the front steering is not going to move at all anymore so like this and make sure the front steering is still moving well so far now take the plastic out of the paddles and then you will see that one is marked with R for right and one with L for left. Take the right one for the right side. The right side is there where the chain box is. And tighten it clockwise into the thread of the crank. With your fingers you can feel the thread and you are sure that you won't damage it by first finding the thread with your fingers. Then same for the left side with the L. You put it in the, to the left crank and tighten it counterclockwise from my point of view, so into the direction where the balance bike is going to drive later. In the bag with the assembly instructions, you will also find a 50mm wrench. You can take this one to help yourself out, or you take your own longer and probably better one to fix the paddles. Tighten them clockwise on the right side, tighten them firmly and check them after the first rides to make sure that the paddles won't lose and damage the thread on crank or pedal. Do the same for the left pedal counterclockwise and tighten the pedal firmly as well. Perfect. Now we are going to insert the seat post. Make sure that the quick release slot at the back is aligned with the slot on the frame. Like this. Then you have a little lever on the right side and 
a screw on the left side. Insert the seat post. And then by holding the lever and turning the screw, you can adjust the force of the clamp. Now I close it a little bit more, check the lever. It still goes too easy and does not clamp the seat post yet. So I'm going to turn on the screw clockwise a little bit more, see if it clamps the seat post now. It still doesn't. So I'll have to turn it a little bit more until the lever clamps the seat post well. Still not the case. So I'm still tightening the bolt a little bit more. And now it should clamp the seat post really well. Just like this. So now have fun with your Belastrainer. Thank you for watching.